Hi, fellow traders. I hope you guys had a great day. Man, what a crazy day, a crazy couple of days in the market. Seems like the volatility, it ramps up and it hits hard first thing in the morning and it goes out just as quick and as hard as it came in. And if you don't take advantage of it and hit it hard in the morning, then you're chasing crickets the rest of the day. And that's kind of what it's been like for me the last three days. So looking forward to this thing doing a little bit better. But I mean, if when I go back and look at last year, this is pretty much the way the market is. Um, we get that volatility early and then later on in the day, it just pretty dies, pretty much dies out. And if you're not in like a trend continuation trade or you're holding something for a longer period of time, you know, it gets to be frustrating if you're sitting there waiting for a trade. But, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. We're here to make money. I'm going to take what the market gives me and we're going to move on from there. All right, so knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. You know, having all of this knowledge, uh, watching all these videos, reading all these books, learning all this stuff, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean a thing unless you apply it. If you can't apply it in the market, it's garbage. And that's the main reason, one of the main reasons why I put myself out there every day, why I trade live in front of you every day so you can have a model of what applying and what execution looks like. Now, I'm not perfect, and that's good because you need to see imperfection. You need to see how to deal with mistakes. When things aren't going your way or when I start to feel emotions creep in, how do I handle it? You know, these are the things that I want you to see. That's why I'm not an alert service. And I just don't give you stocks to trade and tell you to get in at this level and get out at that level. Because those people are probably already in waiting for you to try and help move the market. So I, I just don't do that. I want you guys to learn how to apply the knowledge that you have. Because if you can't apply it and can't execute, it's no good to you. And willing is not enough. Wanting to do it, having the will and the desire to get in here and trade, it's not going to work. You got to roll up your sleeves and get it done. You know, And even if you're trading in the simulator, after a while, you're going to have to break out of that and put that bottle down and come get to work. I mean, that's what we're here to do. And I got everything. You got all the tools you need, all the resources. All you got to do is use them. And, and you can get there. So guys, just knowing this stuff is not enough. You got to be able to apply it and execute it in the market every day. And just having a will to do it, the desire, it's not going to cut it. You got to get to work. You know, today is the day. This is our year. Remember 2019, we said it at the beginning of the year. This is our year. And it's not over yet. We got plenty of time. You got plenty of time to make it happen. So if you got to rededicate yourself, let's rededicate and, and let's get to work. All right. So let's take a look at my day here. Oh, before we get into that, tomorrow, right back here at 830 live webinar here get to see me build my watch list live and then trade the morning live um win lose or draw you know i i can blow up just as easy as i can i can um you know win up so but like i said you learn from everything really we learn from our losses and our mistakes more than our wins but yeah i would love to to kick out some winning trades, no doubt. But whatever happens, you get to see it. You get to see how I respond to it and how we turn it into a learning experience. So come join me. If you know anybody that you think will benefit, just pass it on to them. You know, I don't do blast out emails or do ads or anything like that. It's all by word of mouth. Because if I'm not doing it, 
and it's not working, then the word of mouth is going to stop. So to me, that's the best form of flattery and the best support to know that I'm doing the right thing here. So if you know anybody, pass it on. All right, so today, the first trade out of the gate was CAT. Uh, I started to get this three minute, but the market was kind of, it was a little iffy. So I waited for the five minutes to hit. I would have made a little bit more money on this had I gone with the three minute, but um, it was a game time decision. So I had to make it and stick to it. So I got in here on the five minute opening range break right here. And you can see this stock has sold off on earnings. Um, it, all of the stocks I saw crazy candles like this on. You know, so I didn't know what was going on today. But all I wanted to see was a nice five minute candle that started out rough and kind of smoothed out toward the end. Gave me a nice entry, hit my first target, and then it ripped back up, stopped me out at break even. And then we started bouncing. It got bought up. <clears throat> it did not like what was down here. It did not like it. Somebody was down here ready to buy this. I guess somebody decided that this was where we were going to start buying. And that's exactly what they did. So, but we were able to nail, um, let's see. Well, we can look over here. We were able to nail $145 out of this deal. So half of what I should have got. But, you know, hey, we got to take what the market gives us and move on. So I kind of waited to see if we were going to reject here and come back. Like, you know, sometimes we do see where this makes an initial move. It bounces, shakes out the week. And then it sets back up and keeps coming, but it didn't. I mean, we blew through all of these levels, so I took my eyes off of this. Uh, the next trade was on TER, and this was an opening range breakout as well. However, I don't know why my lines disappear. I drew the lines on this. But um, here's the, the opening candle here, and it's the opening range high. But... Typically, if the wick is longer than the body, I'm going to go with the body. But you can see there's so much resistance here. And I'm not buying into resistance at all. It's just not going to happen. So I waited for it to work its way through. We got this big candle that made this huge run up. I waited for it to close. Here we opened. And, you know, it's, it opened green and it started to push. And then it immediately sold off, ended up stopping me out at my max loss. Now, I'm going to have to change this because if the market is only going to give me these small moves, then I'm going to have to eliminate these $300 losses. Because if you look at, go back and look at yesterday's um, trades, I had a $300 loss there. Eliminate these and I'm dealing with $500 days. So... I need to do something about that. Now, would I take this trade again? Yeah, because look at it, it worked. It's just that it pulled, we had a deep pullback here. And normally you just don't see this, but it happened. Um, I had to respect my stop. And yeah, I probably could have gotten back in here and rolled it up, but by then I had moved on. You know, this had proved to be unreliable so I moved on to the next the next victim so that was TER um, everything I did was according to plan I just the only thing I need to change now is to eliminate this um go back to like $150 max loss and move my position size around um, they're gonna have I'm gonna have some big trades and I have to stop thinking about trying to make so much money what i'm trying to teach you guys you can trade small size you trade a comfortable position size and you can make money and it adds up 
you can see where we are now from starting from January. You know, we're well over 25 grand now. So it's possible and you have to be consistent. Yeah, I went through periods of a week or two where trades just wasn't working out. You know, the week quit. The week gave up. But what I'm showing you is if you stick to it, you stay consistent, it's going to happen. You can make money. It's all about being consistent and sticking to your plan day in and day out. And when something proves to be, you know, not not working very well, like this stock, then I can make a quick adjustment. But I only adjust one thing. And that's it. And and we move on. You know, I just reduce my max loss. And that should affect our um, P and L. So that was T E R. Um Snap. This one tested my patience a little bit. We had a really nice run up. And yeah, I wish I had caught this here. And this is a you know, it's under twenty dollar stock. I traded easily with a thousand shares. Could have done two thousand. Um, but remember, I'm in sure trade. I'm not gonna trade really high position size. Um, and you guys that are there, you know, you guys, that's what you gotta stick with. But in my other accounts, you know, I'll trade larger size. I'll trade two thousand shares or three thousand shares. It it's okay because the commissions won't kill you. But the thing is, if you're in a small account, if you're in the United States, there's some things you have to deal with. You have very little options. And if you're trading in a broker like this, where you pay, um, and these commissions aren't that bad. Four ninety five per trade is cheaper than think in um, TD Ameritrade. So. It's not that bad. It's just you have to know how to manage your account, manage your trades so that you don't lose all your money in commissions. And that's all about stock selection and the strategy. That's that's what it's about. So here on Snap, we got a thousand dollars in. We're looking at the bounce here. And we bounced a little bit, pulled back, and then we made a rip up. And here I'm frustrated. I mean, I'm at this point, I'm like, you know, this is ridiculous because this thing made such a strong move up, a solid pullback. And now we're sitting here effing around. So that's when I told you guys, I, I had to go for a walk. So I just let this go. You know, I had to stop in and just had to go for a walk. And I had this at 17.35 for my first target. And when it ran up and it didn't hit, I changed it to 17.30. And <clears throat> got actually got some positive slippage for a change. Um, got it 17.32. I had it at 17.30. So that's always nice. And then it came on back down and stopped me out. And then it bounced made the run up through 1740 pull back and then it started running up again later in the day um it's kind of frustrating but these are the trades that if i get in out get in and out and i just take these small moves you know that's not beneficial that's not how you trade in in these accounts and it's there's nothing I can say. I mean, if you can get something or get a broker or go to a prop firm, you know, either way, it all it's going to even out because you're going to have to give them so much of your money anyway. So it just evens itself out. Just learn how to trade. If you trade, if you learn how to trade and you do it right, commissions don't even matter. It's, it's a second second thought. All right, so that's uh, Snap was a really nice trade, 218.53. I didn't say TXN, we only got 56 bucks on it. That was, oh, we hadn't even gotten to that yet. 
We went over TER. That was a loss. All right, so TXN. This one, I was looking for it to rip coming out of lunch. To take out this high day, run up through 130. Uh, I fully expected this stock to do that. And you can see it did not. So I ended up, I wanted to get 129.50 for my first target. And I had to take it at 25 or, or when was it? 23 or 25. I had to take it at 25. And then it pulled back and actually got some slippage on my stop. I had my stop set at um, 128.85 and it hit at 78. So I got a lot of slippage on like 7 cent slippage on my stop. Um, but that's rare. It doesn't happen all the time. Every now and then. But what really caught my attention about it was that this was a very slow moving stop. So typically, you don't see that kind of slippage on a slow-moving stock. It's usually one that's bouncing around, jumping pretty quick, and you kind of expect that. But this, I just didn't expect it on. But you can see it never really did much, never really made that push, and then we started selling off toward the end of the day. Um, but only 56 bucks on it. Um, just, just a wash trade pretty much. Um, nothing there. So, <clears throat> Facebook was the trade of the day for me. Um, was a night, you know, it traded sideways, but it was just kind of, it just seemed like it was trying to tighten up and push. Facebook was reporting earnings at the end of the day, and I expected it to run up in the earnings. I was looking for it to break through. Um, red to green, go green on the day, pick up some buyers, and then potentially rip up here to 204.24. This was the level. This was my final target here. And so, you know, you saw me, I drew these lines here, marking out the channel. And I was waiting for it to break through the channel. Once it broke through, it did have a little hiccup here at um, red to green, but it caught hold, bounced off the nine, we ripped through, and I just started hitting my targets and finally hit the final target. Now, this thing on earnings ripped all the way up to 216. So I probably should have left those 25 shares on and held it through earnings, but you you know, that was a gamble. 50 50 on that. Facebook, you never know. I, so I stay away from it. Um, but really nice. And you can see on the other one, for some reason, oh, I know, I, I forgot to to change this once I um, got the last Facebook cover. But 254.31 is a total for the day after this last Facebook cover. So not, not a bad day. But you can see, again, take this trade off the table or at least cut this loss in half. That's a $400 day, just cutting this loss in half. Yesterday, same thing. Cut that loss in half, about a $400 day, which is not bad for these type of days, trading a smaller account. You know, trading 300 to 1,000 share size. You know, it's, I, I don't think, you could do much better than that and be consistent. Sure, you're going to see people trade smaller accounts and make a couple thousand dollars. But the question is, is it real? And if it is real, can they do it consistently? You know, that's the question. That's the question you have to ask yourself. Because like I said before, it's easy to make a winning trade. Um, Leo right here, he can he can come up and click the mouse button and on buy and click it on sell. And if the stock goes up, he's made money. So anybody can make a winning trade. But can you consistently do it over a period of time to where you can can um, make some money off of it? You know, reliable money. That's the question. So. 
that's that. I did get in a swing, which we go over in the morning. Um, and J and J is right off our watch list on Sunday. It actually triggered this morning, so I got in it. Um, and we'll talk about that in the morning. And I took an earnings trade on XL and X, and I didn't realize at the time I had my swing account up because I was taking a snapshot of um, J and J. And I took XL and X in it, and it blew up on me. So because it's in my swing account, I'm holding it. And if we don't get a recovery overnight, then I'm just going to dump it and eat the loss. But everything I saw, even the way it traded going into the close, pointed toward it gapping up. I saw good earnings. I saw good guidance. But in the conference call, you know, it just didn't sound very well. Um, when it came out, things just didn't look as good as what I saw. And that's one of the the risks that we take in trading earnings. You know, I try to do my research. I try to, you know, have a strategy that gives me an edge. But it doesn't work all the time. Nothing works all the time. So it didn't work today. Uh, we'll see. You know, I don't know if it's going to do like the other stock did earlier this week where it gapped down on me and the next day it opened up and it made the move. You know, people realized that this stock wasn't crappy after all and it went to where it needed to go. So maybe we'll get that today. I mean, tomorrow, who knows? Um, but we'll see. Tomorrow's another day. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for me. Um, make sure you join me in the morning. If you're not a member, join me on YouTube and you'll get to see me go through me building my watch list and attacking the open. You know, hopefully there's something for us to attack and hopefully my, and my mindset will be right that I can attack it early. So you guys have a great night, a great evening, and I look forward to seeing you in the morning.